Hello there, I am your MPD Gamer, and sadly, I must piss desperately. Hold on a second. And I'm back, sorry about that, I uh, had too much monster. And again, apologies for my voice at the moment, I'm not exactly in the best of conditions. Well, welcome back to LEGO Star Wars, uh, thanks for joining me. We did the first two missions, levels, whatever you want to call them. And now we're taking feed. Uh, escaping feed, rather. I don't like this level. You'll figure out why soon enough, but I really don't like it. I <laughs> really do the fact that most of it is done. Most of it you play as blaster characters, Queen Abaddon and Captain Panaka. No, natural characters, I don't like them either. They're so bland, but the players, they're just. Well, you'll see. So much better as a blaster character on the, uh. On the newer parts. Newer episodes. The prequel episodes. Because you can actually dodge the blaster bolts. As you can see. Just standing right still. Getting hit. Really annoying. Although I do like the slap mechanic. The close quarters attacks. Still put you at risk, but. Also, there's no auto auto targeting, which really fucks me off. Just because I'm a very lazy, lazy gamer, I will admit it. I like to be able to focus on just hammering the attack button, and because of that, you won't you won't really see me playing that many shooters unless greatly requested. thought, but for those of you who are willing to uh, engage in a comment war, I put this I put to you this challenge. What in your opinion do I sound like? By way of voice. Just anything springs to mind that actually fits. I mean my personal opinion is that I sound like I've been smoking for a decade. Continuously. But I don't know. It's up to you, your choices, your opinions. Let me know, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Remember the first time I ever played this level I got confused how to get out of these windows. And then I felt to shoot the bastards. <sighs> and then again, what the fuck? This is why I hate blaster wheel characters. I'm so much better with a Jedi. <sighs> it just looks so stupid as well. I much prefer the revamped versions of the Lego, of the Star Wars Legos. I've got a lot of them myself. And we're into my favourite part of the level. Actually, back with a Jedi. The character that I can use the best. Like so. <laughs> and this is why I love the Jedi characters. Because you can attack in a close range and not get, not be too bothered. And then you can also, you can also reflect it, deflect their ba blaster bolts back at them. You don't have to worry about getting hit. It's great. Great mechanic, and I love the way it's so accurate. And I know, I'm sounding like an, I'm an absolute fanboy, I don't give a shit.
I always forget that if you jump just after you touch down, you get a double jump effect. I really should be a little bit more wary of what I'm doing. I don't know. That was it. I'm lazy. I don't pay attention that much. It's too much effort. Especially when I'm this tired. Just so drained. Sorry. This is the one level that I that I practically never get 100% true Jedi first time around during the story because I I can't be I can't play as a as one of the blaster real characters very well I'm not very good at it and you don't get it you until halfway through or nearly completed it just drives me up the up the batshit crazy wall and it's it's just tiresome and annoying. So unwieldy, in my opinion. But that is just my opinion. <laughs> just collect as many stuff as I can. I'm not gonna make it anywhere near True Jedi, but. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a, as, lo as many stuff as you can on these games. You can buy new characters. The best bit is the more characters you buy, you yourself buy the more unlockable options you get for customizing your own one. And I'll probably end up showing you that one. My custom character. Later on. If if you want me to do a, do a little bit of the free play mode. Another thing you can let me know about. Please, comment. I do I do know if they change which what they use the icon for the saving bit every single Star Wars game. Every single Lego Star Wars game. I mean first in the first game I think it was a little Yoda head, a little Lego Yoda head. And then in the prequel the original trilogy one well, they had Darth Vader. Now we got the uh Death the second Death Star. I can't remember what it is for uh there was Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, but we can find out about that later. We can find out about that together later. <laughs> so, here's what I would do in your position, Obi Wan. <coughs> Just complete nonsensical. And he looks the way I do when I postulated just how much I've got and how much the next Star Wars Lego set will cost me. It's more pleasant knowing just how much you've got to spend. How little you have to spend. Oish. I'd say I, I, I think this is probably one of my favourite vehicle levels in this entire game. Across all six episodes, I think this is my favourite one. Because there's almost no way in which you can fail it. There's no way in which you can die. Not on this version. I mean, the original, the original version actually had a timer, which actually affected what happened if you didn't make it past each section in that time. And yet, you failed it if you didn't make it through. Which I thought was actually a better challenge. It was more of a challenge, definitely. But now it's not so much of a challenge. It's not quite so much of a challenge. The only thing you've got to worry about talking up your score really is uh, getting hit too many times by the Tuscans and maybe crashing. I haven't died on this level in. Oh, there's the pitfalls just in a moment, but. I haven't actually died on this level in a, quite some time. <laughs> Once you get more vehicles, 
you can bring like high fighters into this one. Which is actually feckin' hilarious. Because they scream. I don't know why. Maybe because I missed their mothership. I, remember, I used to think that each time you smash through something to get studs, you ended up losing your heart, but that wasn't the case. I have to say, though, driving at this kind of speed, it is really, really quite disconcerting the way it all just flashes past so fast. It's kind of hard to keep track of what's going on. And there we have it, True Jedi. I think, I think that's actually the fastest I've ever made it to that point. And I win. Fuck you, Saboba. Oh, wait, no, not quite. Damn it. We're not very good at paying attention. Sorry. I'm just. I was uh, not in the best of conditions. Primarily due to the fact that as it's starting to get to spring and summer, spring and borderline summertime, in my opinion, hay fever's starting to kick, kick in. So. I'm rough, I'm clagged up, and I can barely breathe, barely function at all. But I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win easily. By quite a distinctive margin, but just to make sure, I'm going to hit the pads. Always hit the pads. I don't think it doesn't include a reference to just how badly Sybil would try to cheat. I mean, as if Anakin had the prize money on him right there and there. Just a little bit cheating. A little stupid. Right, and on that note, uh, thanks for listening. Thank and on that note, thanks for watching, thanks for... I will uh, see you later. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.